Shalom. First of all, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, true name Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is with confidence and guides us, especially during this time to come. I overheard an Eve having a conversation on the phone because, you know, that's how Eve are for the most part. Well, a lot of them, especially the ones that were raised in certain parts, they're loud, and I couldn't help but to hear the conversation. And she sounded bitter towards men because I guess she had a child with one of these, you know, Jake's that doesn't have a good head on their shoulder. And that's why we understand that it wasn't, in the ancient days, it wasn't up to the woman to choose the man that she's going to deal with. But like I said, she's upset and mad about the fact that she sees her, with what, is called, what they call, okay, baby father, walking around with designer clothes, but I guess he's not helping out with the child. But that's the results that you get when you side with the serpent. As we know, Eve sided with the serpent in the garden, that forbidden fruit which wasn't an actual fruit. It was a metaphor of how society is ran. Today, they're able to sleep with this man, sleep, get tired of him, move on to the next man, get tired of him and move on to the next man, and have babies by all of them and take that man for child support, and which is an unrighteous decree. Because we understand that the way our laws are set up and if a, if a woman was the be divorced or base or leave her husband, she left with nothing. No child support, no benefits, no nothing. But as the scriptures say in Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, which is the so-called white man. So he established all these laws and stuff that was not beneficial to this world in general. And basically it's the queen, uh, that queen of heaven worship all over again. So these women are able to, like they say, they had liberty to gather abroad. And like the scriptures say, I believe in Sirach 25 and 25, give not the woman liberty to gather, gather abroad, roughly paraphrasing. But like I said, she was upset. And she was like, who raised these men? One second. Yeah, she was upset on the phone about her, her um, the man she, the one of the men, because she was, she's at the time pregnant, most likely by another man. So, yeah, she, um, she was upset and was like, who raising these men? And it's going to probably be the repeat for the next child that's, that's in her stomach. Because, like, we understand we're under the curses, so... These women are, for the most part, not for the, especially the women of our nation, especially the Judite woman, the so-called Negro, they're not for us in this kingdom because we're not in power. And I'm going to let you know that the Lord's people are the Israelites from the chosen seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which today consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like heathen, but are not heathen because their father's seed line traces back to one of the 12 progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. But like I said, we're under the curses due to our disobedience to the Heavenly Father. That's why he scattered us around the world for punishment. But pretty soon he's going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. But like I said, we're under the curses. So I'm going to just grab a few scriptures before I head to the plantation, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 60, 56, it reads, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom. Like I said, she seems bitter towards men overall because of the man that she chose. And that, and that, and that first baby father is probably not even the first man she slept with. Because according to the scriptures the man who you lose your virginity to is your husband until he uh, until he dies and i'm pretty sure we know for the most part a lot of these women have a lot of 
so-called basically husbands walking around and laugh and towards her son and towards her daughter so yeah when she when i when i first seen her she was yelling at the daughter telling her to hurry up and towards her young one that cometh out from between her feet and towards her children which she shall bear for she shall eat them for the one of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee in thy gates and if she's already stressed out as of right now like the scripture say in luke 23 and 31 i believe roughly paraphrasing if they do this in a green tree imagine what they're going to do on a dry but these devils knew what they was doing that's why they you know if you heard of the um willie lynch um situation it's like they knew that if they take the man out of the house, it was going to cause chaos. And that's exactly what they did. These devils become the, became these our women husbands in general over as an overall sense because they gave them, they, they give them, you know, money as far as in benefits, housing, um, food, etc. So the woman feels as though she doesn't need a man because they feel like, if this man leave, they could go to, you know, Daddy Esau, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, to receive benefits. But as we know, that's going to slap him in the face pretty soon. But like I said, this is because of our punishment for disobeying the Lord. So the remnant is going to return and seek the Lord and beg for mercy and forgiveness. But like I said, the... These devils knew if they took the man out of the house that what they were that they were gonna be able to, you know, guide and control the woman. I'm gonna grab this is Yahweh Shah speaking. Mark three and verse twenty seven. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, cause women and children are spoils, except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. So yeah. They they knew that they had to bind up the strong man. And I'm gonna jump from there to Job. Because ultimately, these women, the Lord departed these women of wisdom anyway. So, like I said, they're, they're going to pick and choose the wrong man to deal with because they want the, you know, the hood guy, the gangster, etc. They don't want the the, 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 the hardworking man with a good head on his shoulder because, like they say, he's not fun, etc. I'm going to go at Job 39 and I'm going to start at verse 13, but the point is in verse 17. It reads, Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacock, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. And that's how basically irresponsible a lot of these women are. I done seen a couple, I heard a couple um, stories about women going on vacation and leaving their children in the house for weeks to the point the child dies or some woman forgetting or rushing into a beauty supply store or, or into a salon to get stuff done because they want to, um, and they leave the child in the car and the ch child died from heat stroke or something. And I and through my experiences of saying uh, and dealing with women, that's why I, I try my best to avoid, you know, dealing with women with children because I know these women will leave or forget about their they child just to be in another man's face to try to conquer another man. And that's not right, especially if it's a, to me, especially if that's a, a child of my, of my, of our nation. Verse 16, she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. And they don't fear you. How about Shem Yahushua for the most part? It's a few that the Lord is going to, you know, because, of course, they got to be saved for childbearing. But for the most part, they don't, especially, like I said, our women. Because Gehobah Shemashah has deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted her to her understanding. And that's why they go out here and, you know, make the make these decisions that you'll be like, what the hell is wrong with them? But that's why we got to stick to this truth because eventually the Lord is going to, you know, bring things back to his right order. We just got to wait on your high bashim, y'all shot. That's why we got to put this truth first and not, you know, focus on anything else. Because, like I said, that's why I tell guys that, yeah, you got to make sure 
you don't put too much oil in you. Like the scriptures say, give not your strength into woman because you'll mess around and be destroyed because Satan will use these women because they're the weaker vessel, just like he used Eve in the garden. But I'm going to grab Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 3. It reads, Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is come, become cruel like the ostrich in the wilderness. Yeah, so I'm going to grab a few quick more scriptures. First Timothy 5 and 6, it reads, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And a lot of these women live in pleasure. Like I said, they... And, I just like like I seen an article the other day. This only fan models said that she she basically feel dead inside because after a couple months or so of doing only fans, she don't feel no desire for man at all. And a, and it's probably a lot of women that don't have no desire for their man, even the men that they deal with. But they use them for what they need and then toss them to the side. But like she said, she she feels dead inside. Like the scriptures say, the scriptures are faithful and true. She that living in, in pleasure is dead while she live while they living while she living. And like I said, these women want to, you know, they get bored. They want to party all the time. They don't want to be good, loving housewives. They want to be, you know, hot girl summer type thing. Cardi B's, the um, Megan Thee Stallion's, the sexy reds and stuff like that. Because that's fun of them. And that's not what they're supposed to do. That That's not a woman supposed to be in the house, you know, raising the children. Being obedient to their husband. But you tell them to be obedient to their husband. Especially, like I said, the woman of our nation and especially the Judite woman. The so-called Negro, you tell them to be obedient to their husband, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. But I'm going to finish off with this. Amos 7 and 17, because like I said, we under the curses. Therefore, thus said the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy son, and you know a harlot is like a prostitute, a whore, etc. And thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by land, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity. And that's why a lot of these young men are out here and these young women are out here dying in the streets. Because that's, like I said, that's part of the curses that we receive. And that's why a lot of these women are harlots. Because, like I said, we disobeyed and committed spiritual adultery to the Heavenly Father. And he's showing us how he felt. And when it hurts us that our women are, are this way, us, the, the, the elect, well, we're the hopeful of that because we don't know who's the chosen until, you know, the Lord, until that day. So we pray that we're the, the elect of the nation, but we understand that why we're going through what we're going through. But I'm going to finish off with this one because, like I said, the, the main thing that caught my attention was when she said, who's raising these or who's, yeah, who's raising these 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 men? There shall be... Second Edges chapter five verse eight. There should be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall <coughs> shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. And that's what these a lot of these Israelite young men and um young women are monsters. Like they say, they want to be on demon time, etc. But like I said, that was just a little quick lesson through the spirit. But that's all I got. Call Halom Lagi, Hawut by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching rule well with truth and sincerity. And salutations to the hopeful elect. But yeah, like I said, for the most part, statistics show that when, when a child is raised by a single mother compared to a single father, they're, they're more so to be, you know, to not be as successful but when so like i said for the most part the whole point is that these women are the ones mainly raising the children because they usually kick the father out of the household but shalom